Cool, see him. I'm putting a bag here. This is her friend. Yeah, she's a fox. She's got pictures of herself everywhere. Yeah, she looks good. Look at this stuff. Take some of the stuff. No way. So yourself, I'm gonna take some, huh? Look at that. She's a bane. Why does she have so many pictures of herself? I don't think she's a model, she's only vain. Is that about it? Yeah, I guess that covers the useful stuff. Mm. Charles, stereo's too big. Piano definitely too big, I think. I just misplaced this for her. Three officers. How'd you get the keys? Broke in, changed the locks. It's owned by one of those management places, you know. They never come around, and if they do, they'll just think that they've mixed up their keys. Oh, eventually they'll break in and change the locks, but I'll be long gone by then. No, London's full of these dead spaces. Bar restaurants or shops, whole buildings. Do we leave the stuff here? No, it's your job. You hang on to it till I let you know we're ready to fence it. Okay. Unless you want to try and set yourself and give me half of what you get for it. I don't know what to do with it. Look, I was hardly on that last place, but I could understand. I won't let anybody put me at risk. It's dangerous enough already. Sure. An early supper, I think. No, I really can't afford it. It's covered. Yeah? Okay. Um, authentic, I don't know, but I like it. So you keep on coming in here. <sighs> no, I know, I why? like it, but... I don't know. Well, no, I do know why. Uh, well, because there's no windows and because it's dark and nobody can see you in the alcoves and so uh, perhaps the bald guy wouldn't uh, come past. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this is where you bring all the guys that you go out with because you know that he's uh, not just going to be walking by, popping in. <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was over between you two. <laughs> like this. <laughs> So how come you still go to basement bars then, so that you can't be seen by him? Because, as I've told you before... You're, you're afraid of him, because he's... Because he's dangerous. Dangerous. Dangerous? How? How dangerous? You keep on saying he's dangerous. You never, why, you never explain to me why, why you're so afraid of him. OK. He came round to my flat with a couple of his associates, and I didn't really know what all this was about. Until this other guy arrived, mm -hmm. who apparently owed them some money. 
They didn't like this very much, so they got a hammer. They held him down and they smashed every single one of his fingers. And then they smashed his skull. Someone get me a tea towel or something. <laughs> You're joking with me. You're not joking with me. This is why you don't go out with him anymore. Obviously. No, I know. That's because he made a mess on my carpet. That's <laughs> not funny. <laughs> I know. How on earth did you get to fall in with somebody like this? <sighs> Let's just, it's not the just sort of change the subject, all right? You'd no, normally no, come on. With. Oh, what were you doing? Were you um, <clears throat> working for him at the time? Well, that is none of your business. <laughs> You better find someone else to start telling you little stories. Oh, come on, I was just joking. You're developing a taste for it. The violating, the wireism, it's definitely you. Well, I think not. I think so. And I think before long you'll have developed a taste for all the things that go with the proceeds. Such as? Well, all this. Do you make all your money through burglary? 
No, not all of it. No, in fact, you're going to pay for this. I told you I can't afford to pay for it. No, why? Won't really be you. It'll be D. Lloyd that pays for this. I thought I'd give you the pleasure of pretending to pay. I'm supposed to do this. Sign it. Sign it. Sign it. In your own handwriting, then you can do anything you want with it. D. Lloyd. about being caught. Why else would I do it? Besides, I'm not going to get caught. Well, you thought it all through. I thought it all through. This is only the tip of the iceberg. I would do things that you don't even believe. I chose. For example, sometimes when I'm watching a flat, I'll see that the owner's about to go on on holiday. I'll wait till they're gone, then move in for a week or two. Are you going to be joking? No. It's a lot more than you believe. I don't know when they're going to be back. It's almost always marked on the kitchen counter. Right. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What's wrong? The woman from the first flat. The one we broke into, she's just walked in. Are you sure? Yes, I am fucking sure. Is she with the same bloke? No. Well, that's all right, then. All right, what if she sees us? She's with her partner now. She can't do anything. I think that's one hell of a chance to take. What's she going to say to us that we stole half a bottle of indifferent red wine? Calm down. You mind if we skip dessert? Yes, I fucking mind. She's coming this way. She's going to the loop. She saw me. Oh, yeah? She saw me. I th she recognises us. I think we should leave. OK. We'll leave. Not that we've got anything to worry about except for you making a fucking twat out of yourself. You know, I really hate it when I don't get to finish a good meal with a cup of coffee. Yeah, but don't fucking say it. Look, she, she got a second look at me, all right? She recognised me. That sort of thing makes me nervous. You're so worried about your appearance. Why don't you change it? No? You haircut, you set of clothes. Your mother won't recognise you. I mean, just because you break into people's homes doesn't mean you need to look like a fucking burglar. 